What time is it? They're going way too fast. And we welcome you guys back. We're picking up the next race already in progress. This is the third Varsity 8 race. We're at 750 meters into this one. Looking across from lanes one to four, we have Georgetown in lane one, Temple in lane two, Drexel lane three, and the hometown Princeton Tigers in lane four. Just to recap, first Varsity 8 race, Princeton, Victorious, we're still waiting for an official word. Who got second between Georgetown and Drexel? Temple rounding out the field in fourth. Tommy, what do we know about that Princeton first varsity? The 1V actually just raced in a new boat named for Jonathan Horner, class of 96. Coach Hughes' classmate who was lost to cancer in 2020. It's a wonderful thing they dedicated a boat to him. And he would be proud of how the Princeton Tigers performed in that first varsity eight race. Thousand meters into this one, Princeton up, a little over a boat length of open water, over the Drexel Dragons. Drexel, they're up about two seats over Georgetown, who's out in lane one. Drexel and Georgetown both up bow to stern over Temple. So similar margins so far compared to the first varsity eight race that we just witnessed. Yep, another battle here for second. And it looks like Temple is starting to edge back into the race now. Temple is starting to chunk back into this one. New Temple coach, Brennan Cunningham, excited about how the squad is looking so far this season. A lot of speed to gain, but he's been pumped about the winter training thus far. Always fun to line up against some Philly counterparts in Drexel and the DC fellas from Georgetown. We scan across, approaching 500 meters to go. Princeton 3V. They're up about a boat and a half of open water over Drexel. Drexel is sitting up about three seats over Georgetown. Georgetown up bow to stern over Temple. Temple not going anywhere. They're keeping their bow ball in there, which is so important to do, Tommy, in these races. Once you let teams get open water, that's when they can really get away from you. Yeah, it takes a lot of guts and nerve to, to keep your bow in the race and, and not let the race get ahead of you. Drexel performing really well today. They're sitting up there in second place in this event. They're sitting up now a half boat over the Georgetown 3V. Caught up with new Drexel head coach, Matt Weaver. He's been excited about how his squad has been showing up so far this season. He said a lot of speed to gain as well. It is early. You never really know how these early regattas are going to pan out, but it's looking promising so far yeah, for the Drexel Dragons. They have a strong third varsity. They certainly do. And that third varsity now is sitting up. They've taken a big move. They're sitting up almost a full boat now over Georgetown. Georgetown up, still bow to stern over Temple. It is still the Prince and Tigers, though, dominating this third varsity race. Final 250, they are up two boats of open water, if not more, over the rest of the field. Conditions final 500 here, Tommy, really starting to kick up. There's a pretty consistent, steady head breeze, which is making it heavy as these teams are starting to build their stroke rating through the sprint sequence. That's right, Keenan, and Princeton, in the last few strokes of the race, barring catastrophe, it looks like it'll be uh, another Princeton win here. Scanning back, Drexel in a commanding second place, a length ahead of Georgetown, who is uh, themselves a length ahead of Temple. And that's how it's likely going to finish. Princeton has been through the line. Drexel approaching and through the line for second. Georgetown out of lane one. They will be third. And to round out the field, 